In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Our Lady, Queen of the Seraphic Order, Saint Joseph. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How often do we ourselves feel like Elias? Want to give up? Had enough? Please take me, Lord. If there was ever scripture saturated with Eucharistic meaning, we have already heard it in today's readings. The Father sent his only begotten Son to a woman in Nazareth. Mary was her name. In the strength of that food which Elias had received, he was fed in the wilderness. It was a figure of the bread of life which we receive in the Blessed Sacrament, by the strength of which we are to be supported in our journey through the wilderness of this world, till we come to the true mountain of God and his vision in happy eternity. Mary bore in her the Holy Spirit from that first moment of the Immaculate Conception to become at the moment of the Incarnation the tabernacle, the stand of the Eucharist. Jesus, whom she adored at that moment of his conception in her womb. We are reborn again, a new creation by the Holy Spirit of baptism, to be brothers and sisters of the Eucharistic Lord who was given to us by our Blessed Mother, Mary, the Mother of Jesus. She is the co-redemptrix. Show us, Mary, the Mother of our Lord and Saviour, your little child who dwells in you. In the responsorial psalm, I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord I shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. These words of God also are exclaimed by the Blessed Virgin Mary at the baptism of St John the Baptist. She said, My soul rejoices in the Lord my Saviour, and my spirit exalts in the Lord my God, because he has done great things for me, and holy is his name. For all ages, for all generations, will call me blessed. Honouring Our Lady is not just a moment in history, but continues to the end of time. And again in the second psalm, glorify the Lord with me together, let us praise his name. Mary has given the Eucharistic Lord to us and together we praise and eat the body, blood, soul and divinity of him. For without Mary, there is no Jesus, there is no praise. Mary is necessary deemed necessary and is necessary for our salvation and is therefore co-redemptrix, the only co-redemptrix, not equal to, but necessary. That is the way God the Father deemed it. In the second reading, the Holy Spirit cannot be grieved as the Holy Spirit is without body, an unusual or a sensual body, meaning that he is spirit only it is an analytical explanation. However, there is a price that we must pay when we offend God. Much is expected of us with the indelible seal of baptism and confirmation. And retribution, that is punishment, is great to whom much is given. We are given the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Piety, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel and fortitude and fear of the Lord. These gifts belong in their fullness to Christ, the son of David. They complete and perfect the virtues. They make the faithful docile in readily obeying divine inspirations. All that are led by the Holy Spirit are sons of God and therefore children of Mary. Mary's spouse is the Holy Spirit. In the marriage, the spouses become one. Mary is the created and immaculate conception and the Holy Spirit is known as the uncreated immaculate conception. The fruit of her conception by her spouse is the Eucharistic Lord. 
She is adoring him at the holy sacrifice of the Mass. She is here with her Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.